everybody Ann here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you and it's gonna rain all day today but there's a little break in the rain so Seth across the street Mr. Lucas son gave me some holly peanut pepper seeds that were from last year so I'm gonna try and see if I can get them to sprout because that's the only thing that I don't got going right now that I really really well I'm I mean I've got a lot of other things that I want to plant but definitely holly peanut peppers but something was delivered to my mailbox and it is a card from Jeanette P. <laughs> Grandma Net. All right, I'm going to open it up because it is a very beautiful card. Look at look at this. I don't know. I don't know if she made this. Grandma Net. Yep, she made this. Look at that. And it says, "Hang in there." Whoops. And there is an Amazon gift certificate in it. I'm going to definitely spend that wisely. And there is a beautiful note and a friendly thought, a smile, a pleasant word that's just for you. The little things that mean so much and make life better too. They're all included in this note that's being sent your way. Whatever makes you happy, that's the wish. Uh, that's the wish that's yours today. Um, I hope this finds you feeling perkier. It does, Jeanette. It does. My prayers go out to you and Papa. Love and hugs. Love ya. Jeanette P. Grandma Net. This definitely made me perk up. It made me very... <sighs> One thing, that looks like a silhouette of Judy, maybe. Could be Papa. Um, I've been really stressing out about this whole Papa situation and some other stuff, but that's all settling down now. Papa's doing better. Um, in fact, he's doing so good that he's starting to get himself excited a little bit. So I have to kind of tamp down on that. Anyhow, um... Thank you so much, Jeanette. I'm definitely going to be able to use this uh, Amazon gift card. Definitely. I love gift cards and I love plain cards too. I save them. I save them. And like I've told you before, I go back and read them. So I got to go out and check the chickens. Look at this egg haul. Let me see if I can get over here without stepping on Papa. Okay, there we go. Look, from biggest, I don't know if this one's bigger or this one's bigger, but these are definitely going to be double yokers. Look how big they are. Big, big, big. They're still warm. And then others, all, all six hens laid. They have been for the last couple days. I usually get at least four, but sometimes five. Most of the time, six eggs. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just gave 18 away, eggs away to my neighbor. So eventually, yeah, I'm going to start... Uh, selling these eggs. I would like to increase my flock just a little bit more, but this is great. I mean, basically, if you want a two-egg breakfast, you get it from one egg. Look at those. I just can't believe it. And there's my pepper seeds. I see absolutely no reason why I can't start some seeds in this tub, and then if they start sprouting, maybe do them in five spots, one in the middle, uh, I can transplant the other ones out of this pot and leave just one to grow in here. So this does have, you know, drainage on the bottom. This is the old wash tub that I used to use to strain. Um, and there's sticks, there's leaves, I mean, decayed wood and whatnot, and then the soil on top of this. So I'm just going to plant these seeds in here and, uh, well, hopefully get them to sprout. I got my five little holes, and I am going to plant multiple seeds down in here because I'm not sure if these will germinate so I'm going to put plenty down in there in each one if they don't sprout that's okay look at all those seeds in there that's crazy yep I'll if they do sprout I'll have to thin them absolutely they don't need to be planted very deep maybe like a quarter inch and then over here I might take the rest of these seeds and plant them out in the Willy Wonka garden. I don't know. Let me get all the seeds where I need to have them. All right, yep, just kind of tamp it down a little bit. Make sure that I cover them with enough soil. I think that's great. There we go. I just need to water it. And then under the greenhouse it goes. Oh, I found a spot for it in the back. So you know what? I think I'm going to check these little things and see if anything is sprouting. I don't remember what most of it is. I think I left the packets in 
or near them. I'll look at the last video. Yeah, I planted these onions. Nothing's in there. Nothing is in there. Let's see. What is this? Ooh, there may be something right there. Do you see that? What is this? Lemon balm. I don't know. It could just be a weed. Could just be a weed. One there. One there. One there. They all look the same. One there. I think it's a lemon balm. I think it's coming up. So, yeah, I'll cover that up again in a minute. Let's look at this. This is the zucchini and bell pepper. See, look at, look, I didn't use permanent markers, so this is zucchini as well. Uh, these are green bell peppers. These are the mixed color ones. There's nothing coming up there. Uh, let's look over here. Let's see if I can get over here. Okay, we got, oh, oh, look, green beans, look, look, these are some green beans too, but they're not coming up in this thing, but in these little things that Donna gave me, look, they're coming up, and these are green, a different kind of green beans in this one, oh yeah, they're coming up, great, did we look at this one yet, no, what's in here, um, okay, Beef steak tomato. This must. This is the tomato. The tomato thing. Beef steak tomato. Cheap tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. And it doesn't look like anything's coming up there. Let's see what this is. Um. I don't know. Let's find out. Butternut squash. Yeah, that's that's not up yet. Definitely not. What's in here? Oh, oh. Eggplant. Nope. Nothing coming up in the eggplant. All right, let me get over to the other side and see what's going on over there. Papa came over to supervise. Okay. What's the... Oh! What is this? Look. They're all the same. They can't be weeds. There's no way. This is the arugula. Oh, my gosh. The arugula is coming up. These little pods are just working great. Yes. What's over here? Oh, nothing's going on over there. I'll have to look back at my video to remember. Or get some permanent marking pens <laughs> so that I can, you know, permanently know what's in them. All right, over here, let's see. Um, nothing in either one of these. Nope. That's the cilantro. I don't know what's over here. I'll have to refer back. Don't know what's in these. <laughs> Nothing's coming up anyhow. All right. <gasps> what? What? What are these? I think these are cucumbers. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> can barely see it. Uh, yeah. Cucumbers. I think those are cheap cu cucumbers. Um, what are these? That's okay. No, nothing's coming up in this. Nothing's coming up in this. I think this is, oh, okay. Cayenne pepper here. And there's two different kinds of cayenne there. One are from seeds. I think those are the from my seeds. And those are from the other one. So, yep, nothing. But I've got cucumbers, arugula, beans. All right, now for my little herb garden. Let us see. Um, yeah. I don't know, guys. I do remember, this is the summer savory. We've got one here, 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 here. I don't know. They all look the same. It could be summer savory. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be dill. And there's some dill. There's some little things coming up here. One thing over here, I'm going to have to go back and look and see what it is. There's something coming up here. Here, here. I'm hoping it's not weeds. Something here. Uh, because this is reused soil. So it may be weeds. I don't know. I'm just going to let them come up and see what they are. I've never grown summer savory before, so I don't know what it looks like. But it looks like things are starting to come up. And this greenhouse is protecting them, protecting them just fine. I did dig up about a half a 
wagon of that soil and put it down in there and also put some old chicken bedding down there in the bottom too and um, this looks a little bit more like clay than the blue one over there because I did pull from spots that had a little bit more clay than the really good rich soil but that's okay um, I think what I am gonna do is add some garden soil to the top of this bed but this at least saved me I don't know a couple bags of soil so you know that's pretty good Planting my garden is so much fun. I just love it. I can't wait till it warms up permanently. At the end of next week, there's going to be a few days where it's going to drop down. Well, one day it's like 31, the other day it's 34, 36, something like that. So uh, significant damage can be done to your plants if you don't protect them. So I'm protecting them pretty good and it's I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that everything goes well. So anyhow, um... I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.